Hey everyone, it's Patrick from Patrick and Friends Music. This is the second part to our one finger chord video. So if you haven't checked out the first part, I'll include the link in the description and you can go check it out. Because we're gonna be using everything we learned in the first video and then we're gonna tack on two more one finger chords and then learn a whole chord progression together. So we're gonna zoom in and start learning our new chords. Okay, so in the first part of this video, we learned our G major chord and our G dominant seven chord. Now we're going to step it up a little bit and learn our C major chord. So as you see on the screen, we have three strings this time. We have our G string and our E string open. And then we have our first finger going to be on our first fret of the B string. I want you to play all those three strings together. Okay, so you may have noticed that high E string may sound a little like that. Now the key to this chord is to curve your finger and you wanna press down with your fingertip. So you'll hear as I flatten my finger out, I'll get that muted E string, but then as I start to curve it, I start to hear it again. Now this is a key for this chord, but like we mentioned in the first video, it's a key to basically all of the chords you'll learn. Curving your fingers, make sure each string rings out and that you're not muting any of the other strings. So to check this chord, what we're gonna do, like we did in the first part, is play each string individually, and then play them together. So let's try it. Start on your G string, go down, and then play them together. Now this is important because you can hear that each string is ringing out. So if your E string is a little muted, you can curve your finger and fix it, or if your B string isn't pressed down hard enough, you can press down and fix that. So you'll use this technique for this chord, but also apply it to every chord we learn. So ready? Now we're gonna add our strumming pattern to our C major chord. So we're gonna go down, down, up, down. Let's try it. Down, down, up, down. Let's try it one more time. Down, down, up, down. Awesome, so once you, got, once you get that down, we're gonna move on to our E minor chord. Okay, so as you see on the screen, our E minor chord has three strings open. We have our G, B, and E string open, but now we're gonna use our middle finger on the second fret of the D string. Now you may be tempted to use your first finger, but our full E minor chord when we get there, we'll be using our middle finger on the D string, so in order to get set up to do that, it's good practice to use your middle finger now. Okay, so I want you to hit each individual string and then play it as a chord. So start on your D string, go all the way down to your E string, and then play it together. Awesome, so the challenge with this chord, similar to our last chord, is that G string. Last chord, it was right, our E string is muted. In this chord, we're gonna have our G string have some trouble. And the key again is curve your middle finger. All right, if it's flat, look at that sound, but as soon as you curve it, you'll get a nice sounding chord. Okay. So we're ready, we're gonna go down, down, up, down with our strumming pattern on our E minor chord. Let's try it. Down, down, up, down. Try it one more time. Down, down, up, down. Awesome. So the next step, once we got our four chords down, is to play a chord progression. Now, a chord progression, all it means is a series of chords and the order they come. So in a song, you may hear a song has a chord progression. All it means is the chords in the song and what order you play them. So for this, we're gonna play the order of our chords in the way we learn them. So we're gonna start with our G major, then we're gonna go to our G7, C major, and then our E minor. All right, so the first step we already accomplished. We got each chord sounding good individually by themselves. Now the second step, what you're gonna do now, is to play each chord, hold it, and then switch to the next chord without any strumming pattern. So let's try it. We're gonna start on our G major chord. Then we're gonna to go to our G dominant seven. Then our C major. And then finally our E minor. Awesome, so if you're having trouble switching between any chord even if it's two chords, I want you to work on those individually. So say you had trouble going between the G7 and the C major, 
Just go back and forth between the two. Make sure you can get that switch down really, really well, and then add it in and play your whole chord progression together. Now, once you get that down, you're gonna start to add your strumming pattern. But like in the first part of this video, we're gonna give ourselves four extra beats on each chord. So we're gonna play our strumming pattern, down, down, up, down, on our G major chord, hold it for four beats, then go to G7, do the same thing, C major, E minor, and then we're gonna end on our G major. So let's try it, put it all together, and let's tr start playing our chord progression. So ready, G major. Down, down, up, down, one, two, three, four, G7. Down, down, up, down, one, two, three, four, C major. Down, down, up, down, one, two, three, four, E minor. Down, down, up, down, one, two, three, four, and then G major. Awesome. So really, really work on switching between those chords and adding in that chord progression. It is not an easy task, but if you work on it, step by step, you'll have it down. Okay, now that we got that whole chord progression down, it's gonna take a lot, a lot of work to get that and get comfortable with that. So I just want you to remember the strategy to getting these chord progressions down. First, learn all of our chords, right? You gotta get them down, gotta get them really good individually. Then switch between the chords, but just hold, hold on to them, don't play our strumming pattern and then add your strumming pattern. But remember to give yourself a little extra time to switch between the chords, hold it for four extra beats. So work on that, get that down. I have a lesson recap PDF in the description below where you can check out everything we went over from the first part of the video to the second part of the video. So remember, have fun with it and keep on rocking.